Hello, Zaidi Boy here, aka aka a rational Muslim. So I thought I would show you something completely different like Monty Python. If you watch these things, I urge you to check out my original YouTube channel. I'm locked out of it. I don't get anything if you go there and check it out. All I'm saying is that I've got hundreds of videos up including what I'm about to show you in some shape or form. So the starting point, the starting point of the poor man's workout routine is that like the premise of this whole thing is that basically you have to find something that works for you, right? So look what I've done here, right? You got to be creative about this thing. I want you to know, and you should think about this, that going to the gym, okay, does not make you fit, okay? You look at the numbers, okay? I'm a sales and marketing guy. Numbers are everything. This is what Pythagoras said. Numbers are everything, okay? So now I'm in the best shape of my life after stopping going to the gym. So every day I get up and my body is like, wow, it's like, Urgh. I feel like aches and pains all over, something like this, or it feels like tight. And if I don't do what I'm showing you right now, right, it's Sunday morning, like first thing in the morning, right? I got my cup of coffee, obviously, covetously, you know, I'm prayed up. And my advice to you is you get up and you smash your fucking face in the morning. You smash yourself. You smash yourself. And then they, then you coast through the rest of the day. So now, this, what I'm doing right now, I call yoga with weights. These are two five pound weights, okay? Like, gyms, as far as I'm concerned, are a business and they're like big business or like they're not, they're the kind of business that perpetuates itself. Okay, this is a long discussion. Okay, like big business is in it for big business. And a lot of businesses are in it to make a profit. They basically, I don't know how to explain this, but you know what I'm talking about. You go to a gym and they teach you all kinds of things. And they'll teach you all kinds of magic curls and baseball curls and this sets and those reps and barbell. Like, listen, I've gone, I went to gyms for like 20 years. I'm been a gym set from like Seattle to freaking Pakistan, right? And, and it's like I've seen some really, worked with some really good trainers and seen some really ripped and torn people. There are ripped and torn people in the gym, but this is like the 1% seriously or 2% or 5%, something like this. Average person who goes to the gym, they're not in the, let's just put it this way, they're not in the shape they want to be. So you see what I'm doing. Guys, <sighs> Basically, uh, what you're getting out of this is yoga with weights, okay? So this is straightforward. Like what I've done here, this is straightforward. So I'll get up and then I'll, uh, you know, just use my arm like this. Like you've got your arms, you can hold it up high, you've got shoulders, and your, your, your body will tell you what to do. And guys, it's like, a, oh my God, you can feel the cricks like those little crackles of electricity shooting out. And the thing turns into a massage. Guys, when you figure out what kind of workout your body wants, you will enjoy it. You will look forward to it. I tell people that not exercising for someone who exercising, who, who, who likes to exercise is harder than exercising is for someone who doesn't exercise, this kind of thing. Guys, if you're new and, and, and you are you feel like you're out of weight and uh, like out of shape and this kind of thing, you gotta start. I mean, you gotta understand that it's very easy in the beginning because you'll see quick gains and you'll get into it. Then it's just up to you to stay persistent. So yoga with weights, you can do all kinds of things, right? You know, just, just use your brain and, and watch some videos of and whatever. Like you gotta experiment. You can do all kinds of things with this stuff, right? 
you know, stuff like this. Hello. And you just hold it. You just hold it. Right? So I figured this thing out by myself. Right? So they always ask you this question at the gym. What kind of shape do you want to be in? And I would always tell them, I want to look like JCVD, John Claude MF, my friends, or mother effing Van Damme, John Claude Van Damme. I want that Bruce Lee look. I want the Van Damme look like ripped and defined, not necessarily big and bulky. And thank God I've achieved it. So now this is yoga with weights. Okay. Can you get like a, a few resistance bands and a few weights? you will be like, oh, yo, I want 20, but you, you know, like the mind. It's like you want more and more and more and you want it to be perfect. No, start where you are. You're like, no, I want 20 pound weights. What kind of pussy ass shit is this? Like little five pound dumbbells. Yo, try holding it out for like a minute, one minute, just one minute, right? And you'll see what I'm talking about. So that's what that is, okay? If you've got any questions about any of this, I'd love to hear your comments. If you don't like this and you think I look like a gay white person wannabe or whatever the fuck, I'd love to hear any of this. Like I'm a marketing guy. I am just seeking some kind of response from you, the watcher, the user. Now this is my favorite, okay? This is my all time favorite. This thing, yo, you want more weights? You got more weights. Okay, this is full of stuff right now, including like Xbox games and DVDs. I've got like Mad Men, like the complete first series in here. I've got Robot Chicken in here, stuff like this. So this is heavy. This is not like some. So guys, I'm a strong guy. I don't mind saying so. Like I put my bike on the bus the other day and pulled it off and the bus driver was like, yo, you're pretty strong. Guys, this takes years. I don't know if this impresses you or anything like this. But again, this is yoga with weights, but just bigger weights. Like this whole thing of curls, I'm just not into this thing, right? I'm just not into it. You can hold it up here if you like, and then hold it a bit down there and hold it a bit down there. And if you work out traditionally, like with the curls and the reps, then you know that slow is the way to go, bro. Slow it down, slow it down. This thing, however, with the handle up like this, yo, you can pop this thing on your head and just stand there like you're like, uh, a Chinese laborer is what comes to mind. I don't want to be racist, but if you study a Chinese laborer, a guy who works his face off every day just to feed his family, this guy has that Bruce Lee look that I'm talking about. So there's, there's certain rules with working out, okay? So I'll go like this. And this is like my back now, and I'll just hold it. I'll just hold it. I'll put this goddamn thing on my back, right? I'll put it on my back like this. Now, there's certain rules doing things like this. First of all, I mean, like different rules from different aspects, right? So you've got keep your back straight and drink lots of water. Like the first thing I do when I get up is I'll try and drink a whole liter of water right away. Computer Associates, CA.com. Used to work there. Yo, CA, formerly known as Computer Associates. Anyway, keep your back straight. The rest of it is, is not such a big deal. Listen, if you feel aches and pains, okay, you like rather you're straining a joint, stop. Don't strain a joint. Guys, here's some other things. Try and work out every day and try and work out your whole body every day. This is facts. This is like it goes against this whole gym thing. I had a, you know, a supervisor. I worked as a security guard for the longest time, okay? Like for years while I was building my digital marketing agency. Now, um, the guy showed me his picture. I couldn't believe it. He looked competition level, like ripped. Like he was a guy from Afghanistan. He did like Uber on the side. He was a great guy. I wish I'd stayed in touch with him. There's too many people to stay in touch with and I don't know what it is. Like you just lose touch with people and you know, I'm kind of a loner myself, quite frankly. I mean, I've realized I'm a loner. I'm just a loner. That's all it is. I mean, I'm more interested in books and like my art and just like the world in general. I'm less interested in people's mind games and drama and stuff like this. I mean, I love people uh, at the same time. You know what? 
like a lot of the times the problems in life um, are people. So you can do all kinds of stuff with this thing, right? You know, like you just stand like this. You know, you just stand like this for a while. So this is shoulders, right? And then you can put some leg, in, you know, you're getting legs anyway, right? So this kind of thing, you'll figure this thing out. I'll hold this thing like this and just hold it up like that again, right? So, and just hold it for a while. Now, this is unorthodox. Yes, this is like total shit in terms of if your neighbor saw you, they'd be like, what the fuck? What is this guy up to? Or your friend. Guys, you either get it done or you don't, right? I'm here to tell you, your body was designed to be worked out every day, all your muscles. In the gym industry, you've got what they call split body workouts. So on Thursday, you do your arms. On Friday, you do your back. And you know, on the weekend, you do your goddamn legs or some stupid stuff like this. It's all crap. You know it's all crap. I'm just telling you it's all crap. That kind of split body stuff, I just gave away Joe Wider's Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. Like this book, this book, like it was so good, I gave it away. I don't know what to tell you. Like the Quran says, I don't, I don't want to preach, but I want to let you know this is the way. This is the path. The Quran says you will not reach goodness until you give out of that which you love. So to give away leftovers and all this stuff, that's what everybody does. And we think we're so great to give away leftovers, right? So uh, give away like stuff that you love as well as leftovers, right? So when, when I have something like that, like that book, I was taking it around with me and I was reading it and I was like, whoa, this stuff in the pictures and Arnold Schwarzenegger and Lou Ferrigno and the early days. And this guy, Joe Wader, was this... He's an amazing man. I don't know if he's passed away. I, I, I have a feeling he must have passed away, like rest in peace. Amazing book, amazing guy. I was on a streetcar here in Toronto. And I, uh, so that's it right there. The whole point of this video is like, get, get in shape. Stop making goddamn excuses. Try and get stronger every day. Try and push yourself more every day in some shape or form. You need to get your heart rate up to 120 beats per minute. That's, a, that's just a general, like there's actual science behind this. Like based on your age, your heart rate should go to a certain, certain, like a certain um, rate. 110 to 120 per minute. Okay, so if you don't lose your breath, if you don't get your heart rate up, if you don't sweat, then, then you haven't really worked out, okay? You need to get to a point where, again, like I say, you smash yourself. You get up in the morning. This is what they say, like, and this is what I do. Like, I mean, it's, it's hard because different people say different things. You go to a gym and you show the guy this video, he'll be like, this fucking fruitcake. You know, it works for him, but like, can you, like, blah, 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 blah. I don't know what the fuck he's going to tell you. It's all bullshit. Trust me. Find out what your body likes you might like running like i'm about to put on my shoes my running shoes and just go for a long fucking run like i live here in uh, markham in toronto suburb of toronto and my favorite park in the world <clears throat> i just moved here recently millican park there's a hill in the middle of it that i run to the top to, and i'll just pass out there almost like i'll just lie there for like minutes at a time and you'll be like yo what kind of stuff does this guy do yo um in terms of how can i do this every day and my schedule and stuff like that listen i'm a consultant okay i do my work wherever i can and uh yo you gotta figure this thing out the the ideal is that you want to uh get up and work out first thing in the morning that's it because it's important your health is important because your health is your life if you don't live healthy you're killing yourself do you understand? You're killing yourself. You're taking away years of your life. So when you're 60 or 80, you might as well have just stabbed yourself. This is very harsh talk and not a lot of people like it and not a lot of people buy it. Guys, get stronger every day. Push yourself every day. You need to sweat. You need to be out of breath. 
you need to get your heart rate up to 110, 120, you don't need to measure it. You just go, you don't need to get some fancy, what, what I mean is you don't need to get some fancy freaking tools. You put your fingers here, and if it's like twice a second, that's good. Boom, 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 boom. So whatever, like, I haven't done this for years. Like, I mean, I don't measure my pulse or anything anymore. I just push myself, right? And you know, when, you, when you're pushing yourself, you begin to see like white, bright lights and things like this, right? And you feel like you're gonna pass out. Drink plenty of water and push yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Don't strain yourself, push yourself. You can feel your pulse over here. Yo, look what happened to my ring. Do, 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 do. Anyway, I gotta go. If you're interested, just shoot me a note and I'll send out, I'll, 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 I'll answer any questions you have or, yo, just tell me what the freak you're doing right now for exercise and, and I can see if I can try and help you out with some advice or something. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take it easy. Call your mom. Be good. The usual shit, right?